also known as trending now, and that it will produce a new story. It would scrape the URLs from the first three pages as an example of Google and then allow you to turn those into an article. The result is an up-to-date news site. Okay, this is an interesting idea. This is what I think he means. On Google Trends, there is an option to click Trending Now. And by default, it would give you all the trending news for the past 24 hours. Now, this is the list for Canada, but you can change the location up here. Instead, let's go to United States. And here we're seeing Gene Hackman, 5 million search volume, Shrek 5, PepsiCo, Frito-Lay, Layoffs, Little Baby. All of these have been trending in the past 24 hours. So a challenge that we have with auto blogging is how do we get the latest news? And how do we take that latest news and publish it to our website? Because we can enter specific keywords and write articles around those keywords. But how are we ever going to predict something like Survivor Season 50 voting? And even if we did put that in as a keyword, what type of information would we get? The AI or large language models wouldn't know what to write. It would be making up a lot of information. So I got a really easy way to do this, to take all of this trending news for a particular country and turn it into content for your website. Let me show you how. First, head on over to youraiagent.com. Your AI Agent is a comprehensive business suite of AI agents. I'm building all of these AI agents, also known as automations, live on this YouTube channel. We are trying to automate every single thing for your business. So enter your name and email address, password, and then click sign up. It will drop you onto the settings page, and here is where you'll connect your website. So we connect to multiple website platforms right now. We have Blogger, Framer, Ghost.org, Hashnode, HubSpot, Medium.com, Shopify, a Supabase database, Webflow, WordPress.com, and WordPress.org. Now, I haven't set this up in any of my YouTube videos before, so I'm going to connect my Supabase database, and this CMS can connect to multiple different website builders. So this type of connection it opens up a ton of possibilities. At any point, if you get stuck, we have a watch video button at the top of the page, so you can click that and view the specific setup instructions. So for a Supabase integration, we need a few things. First, we're gonna name the integration. I'm gonna call it my Supabase table. Now we need a project ID, a table name, and your API key. For that, I'm gonna to go to my Supabase dashboard and click on my particular project. On the left side here, we're gonna click Table Editor, and for this demonstration, I'm gonna click Create a New Table. Let's call it Blog. You need to disable Row Level Security and confirm this change. This is going to allow us to use the API to post information to your database. Next, we need some particular columns. So on this settings page, it says we need four columns. We need title, content, tags, and slug. So I'm gonna make these right now. I'm gonna click add column. We'll go title, that type is going to be text. Let's go add column. It wants content, that type is going to be text as well. They're all gonna be text. We have add column, we have tags, that is gonna be text. And then add column, we have slug. And that is going to be text as well. Now I can click save. And here it is, it has created a CMS database. So at the top here, I'm gonna grab my project ID. It's this string that goes after project in the URL. Let's copy it and paste it in here. The table name, we called it blog. And now for our API key, we can come over here into project settings and then data API, and then grab your project API key, the anon public. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it in here. Now I can click connect, and if you set everything up correctly, you're gonna get a notification that says your Supabase has been connected. I can click OK, and now back on my connections page, I can scroll down and see my newest connection, my Supabase table right down here. Next, we can go to the home page, and on this home page is where you'll see all of the current active AI agents. We have AI video editing, auto blogging, auto following, blue sky bots, Reddit bots, Twitter bots, LinkedIn bots, 
SERP writers, social listening tools, timely news, affiliate bots. So everything you can see right on this page, you can even filter by type on the left-hand side. I'm going to click on website and find this one right here, Google Trends to Post. So it extracts Google Trends data from the past 24 hours and transforms it into content. Let's click start now. At the top, you're going to choose your connection. By default, it's the latest connection, my super base table. And let's read a little bit more about this agent. Automatically transform trending topics into fresh, relevant content. This agent scrapes Google Trends data from the past 24 hours for your selected country, randomly selects a trending keyword, and runs it through a Google News search to find the latest articles on that topic. It then analyzes the information and generates original content based on your custom agent prompt. It's perfect for content creators, marketers, and news aggregators. Right now, Google Trends to Post is only available for website connections. If you want to see it for LinkedIn, Twitter, Blue Sky, or any of your other favorite social media platforms, please write me a comment below and I'll try to integrate that platform as soon as possible. The first step is to choose your content scheduling. So how often do you want this agent to scrape Google Trends data and then post? The recommended posting interval for Google Trends is once per day. That is where I see the most updates, but you can go even further. You can go once every two days or once every three days to ensure the content is unique. I'm gonna keep it at once per day and I wanna post on all days of the week. The next section is your title prompt. This is gonna depend on what type of content you want to create. The dynamic data that we include is the article's title and the trending keyword. So you can change up this prompt right here. This is a basic one if you just wanna write articles for your website. Next is the agent prompt. So these are top level instructions describing what the agent is supposed to do and how it should generally behave and respond giving you a max of 5,000 characters. And the data that is included is article text, the title, and the trending keyword. By default, I give you, you are an AI content creator tasked with generating unique, well-structured articles based on a provided trending keyword, article text, and title. Analyze the keyword and text to extract key information, insights, and main ideas. Then synthesize this content into a fresh, coherent, and engaging article aligned with the given title. Ensure the output is original, well-written, easy to read, and tailored to the target audience, avoiding any promotional language. Feel free to change up this agent prompt. Remember, 5,000 characters is a lot, and you can get it to output in your exact desired style, brand, or voice. Next, you're going to choose your Google Trends country. This is what I showed earlier when I was showing the Google Trends page. So this works for a lot of different countries on Google Trends, Switzerland, Chile, United Kingdom, France, Finland, Hong Kong, wherever you want to post content to, whatever type of audience you want to attract, you can choose the country right here. For this purpose, I'm just going to choose United States. To be honest, this toggle really doesn't work for Superbase, so I'll probably remove it in the next update. But if you connected a WordPress blog, a medium.com website, a Shopify store, you can choose to send it to draft or to publish it right away. The next section is the humanizer prompt. So this rewrites your article for a more natural tone and for improved readability. So I want to give this a note that this modifies your original prompt so you have less control over the final output. But if you think all of the outputs generated with AI sound too much like AI, you can toggle this humanizer on and you can choose your readability. Let's say sixth grade, easy to read, conversational language. And then you can remove some common AI words. So I can go right to the extended list. And this is going to take your output, your final content, and throw it through a humanizer spinner. I'm going to turn this off because I like my original prompt how it is. Next is the image prompt. It's going to generate one image for your Google Trends content. And treat this like a mid-journey prompt. Just give it descriptive words, color, aesthetics, overall visual direction, something like bright, eye-catching, minimalist, vibrant colors. You can go vintage, clean design, high resolution, Kodak camera, those type of words. Next, we're going to select our image model. We have five to choose from right now. You can do Flux Schnell or any of the stable diffusion models. Let's go with Flux Schnell to see what it creates. Boilerplate text is standard text blocks that go at the end of each article. Use it for your social links. Use it for contact information. This is going to be the same throughout every Google Trends post. And the good thing about Google Trends 
is this is completely automated. It's going to run automatically each day in the background and you'll never have to touch it. So it's always going to be providing fresh content for your website on autopilot. You don't have to worry about that anymore. You can focus on some other things in your business, like actually making sales. And hopefully this content starts to give you traffic from Google, especially because the articles it creates, it's going to be trending. And then lastly, we have categories and tags. This is the tags column that we created on Superbase. If you want to organize your articles in the back end for your website, you can put in some tags here. So I can go USA trending news. Now I can click start agent. It's going to take you to the workflows page where you can see all of your running active and past workflows. Here I see this one, Google trends to post United States. And now I can click into edit it. I see when the upcoming post is, if there are any error logs and I can change any of the settings on this workflow live while it's running. So if I don't like the output or I want to change the image model, maybe start humanizing the output, changing the agent prompt, then the title prompt, I can do that here. Once it has actually generated an article for your website, you can get a link to it if it's something like WordPress or Shopify. But for this super base table, there is no link, but you can view the output history and I can see my latest article star studded lineage exploring the tall tales of celeb sons from Phil Spencer to Rod Stewart. If I go to my super base table, I see the newest entry here with an ID of two. I can see the full article that it wrote. I see the trending keyword that it chose and it chose Rod Stewart. And if we go to the Google Trends page, we see the keyword here, Rod Stewart, and it has been trending. It's up 300% in search traffic. And this started about 12 hours ago. If you want to try the Google Trends to post agent for yourself, I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you want to learn how to build your own AI agents, maybe an extension to the Google Trends to post one, and then you want to turn that into a profitable web app, check out my online course, how to build a custom AI app. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.